That's crazy. Hope your friend isn't booked the wedding. <laughs> Imagine paying venue fee instead of going to a wedding with cute girls. Facts. See? Now you guys are thinking. Yeah. Also, I don't... I do not... I I, I have... You know, Aaron's my, Aaron's my goat and all. Like, I'm always rooting for Aaron, but... I got some question marks for this matchup. I don't know who sent Aaron to losers at all. I don't know how long he's been losers, but... I think this matchup is kind of difficult. Not for, very for, easy. Yeah, yeah, not, not easy at all. And Syrup is insane. The things I've seen this person do at Ness, pretty ridiculous. Honey, I couldn't get the ring. The venue fee was nuts. <laughs> can I bruh, pay the venue can fee? Is, <laughs> venue fee is like thirty dollars at max, bro. Hey, what I kind of ring are you say, trying to okay, buy? I was gonna, what kind what of fee are you going to, bro? The heck, you gotta get like a ring. That's, that's some. That is some broke man goals. <laughs> venue, let me tell you something, bro. I got other things to worry about. You can't. If thirty dollar ring is what you're gonna give your fiance, bro. Yeah. At locals is the last year. <laughs> can you imagine? Like, can you imagine? Like, you go to the wedding, you pull up with the setup. You're like, all right, cool. Let me make this wedding a local. Who got in? Oh God, no. <laughs> Who's got the bracket? I, I always imagined Smashers would do that because I definitely saw that before. It was like a wedding tournament that was streamed. I it would was be melee. so upset. It was melee. It was melee. They if were all were... like in suits and stuff, and they were playing, and like <sighs> they're actually at the wedding and stuff. Her, I remember I, I saw this before. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they turned the wedding into like a tournament. That is weird. But it was only the people that were invited to the wedding that showed up. Anyway, that doesn't even matter at all. It's grand finals. Syrup already starting off hot with that sick up smash combo. That he off like the platform jab like I think. George, actually Syrup goes to some nutty stuff with Ness, I'm not gonna lie. He definitely reminds me in, of a best Ness and foes Ness a lot. Oh, we call him Sen now, by the oh, way. Oh, sorry, sorry, Spencer. Or Sen. Sen. Yeah. My bad. You anyway, gotta nip it in the bud, I'm just man. trying Come to on. say, Syrup, very flashy with Ness, I think. That's the... I'm sorry. That's the worst thing to ever hear. Honey, I couldn't get the ring. I donated 500 bucks to the pot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I wish I didn't read that. Okay, anyway. You guys never get Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aaron's getting so many strong hits, but Serb's DI is definitely keeping him alive longer than I expected. Yeah, I love that spell off stage two with the PK flash, and he got the sweet spot on his WB as well. He just has a lot of control over his character. You can tell by how he moves around with Ness. And that's something I really like appreciate when I watch good players in Smash. Just like how fluid can they move around on the stage with that character, you know? It's always really impressive because that's that type of stuff that develop over time, you know? Yeah. Is that the thing that you just pick up and you're like really good at moving with your character? It comes no, from it, a lot of experience. Yeah, it comes from experience and like daily practice. Like there are people who like quote unquote exercise wow. in the game and they practice like, you know, their bread and their B and B's, which is their bread and butters, their movement. You know, all those things to get ready for gameplay. And that's something that a lot of players like. If your movement is very crucial and important. Yeah, even in this game, even without, you know, all the wave dashing and platform canceling and all that stuff of the previous games, still really important. Oh my goodness. Syrup is going crazy right now on Aaron Shield. Just so much pressure. Nice, Aaron avoiding that jab block, but man, that magnet dude is just like fighting back so quickly. The other characters were like gipping a knockdown, but the floating nest man, he's just really difficult for Aaron to get that knockdown in the assist character so far. Oh, the aggressive plays from Ness is really rough for Aaron. He's trailing the yeah. line too. That's good for oh Syrup too, because he was looking for the landing against Aaron, but also like he threatened Aaron with the back air in that situation, and he was looking to still read Aaron's landing because he knows like Rob will eventually have to land. If Rob doesn't land, he goes to the other side of the ledge, in which you can still set up for an edge guard as well as Ness. Good size still here, missing the upper, but nonetheless he earns himself that grab PK Thunder because you know what, Rob always gonna go for that low recovery. This is gonna be a near. I, I was gonna say this is an out of shield option for sure on Syrup, and you can see that he got the grab. I was actually just really good read from Syrup, seeing that uh, 
I think Aaron tried to dash away after he did that Nair on shield. Even though it was a cross-up Nair, uh, Serp actually just saw where Rob was after he hit his shield and just dashed up get the grab. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, really not letting Aaron get away with that much uh, stuff for free. Which is really rough for Aaron, honestly. Because the things that he was able to just do like so easily against everyone else is getting hard punished right now. But I don't know. I think this matchup is kind of hard for, for Rob. Not gonna lie. He's like that perfect size and weight for nest combos. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's what I was gonna say. He's literally. Whatever Ness wants to hit, Rob is the perfect, like, weight, size, and character to do it for. Like, don't forget, like, even though one of the weaknesses of Rob, funny enough, is like the, the fact that he's, he has a huge hurt box. Although, Rob is a social distance character, so you kind of have to, like, that kind of supplements the character in terms of balance. What would I give? I see chat talking about like what they what they got for what strides. What would you give your best man at a wedding? Best man. Yeah. What Let's would you give him? Oh, thick. Damn, bro. I guess I'm never getting anything. <laughs> I don't even know who my best man would be. I mean, it's usually like the quartet. Like it's usually like a bunch of dudes, but you're your closest homies. Oh. I thought it was this one person it's called best man, not best I mean, man. your best man is the one who's going to be like your right-hand man in the altar as you wait for your wife to be. Uh, let's, we're going to talk about this some other time. Anyways, it's more syrup and Aaron as we get to it. But yeah, why don't I have to give my best man stuff? I'm the one that's getting married. They should be giving me stuff. That's true. They should be giving you stuff. Man, oh I'm my real God, simple, I forgot though. that you get side magnet the laser off stage. Oh, we can't side magnet that. Get him out of here. Aaron with the stock lead this time. And Aaron has demonstrated that once he gets the lead in any type of fashion, he just really knows how to build on it super easily. Maybe not easily, but he just... Uh, it's just interesting the way he, he goes about it. Like, a lot of people, when they get the lead, they just play incredibly safe and, like, you know, really don't want to uh, take any risks. Just, like, make their opponent approach them. But a lot of times when I see Aaron get the lead, he just like keeps playing on the pressure. Oh, good tech saved his life there because he would have ran out of gas, oh. but no spike, dang. No spike. Not that it matters though, he's still going. No spike for Aaron, but the problem is here, no damage also for Syrup there because you know he also wanted to hit Aaron at the same time. That's a good empty hop here to back throw Syrup at 74%. At this point, like, Syrup has a little bit of catching up to do, but you know how Ness can easily just rack up the damage with one PK fire. The big question here is, can Syrup even land or get those opportunities for that PK fire? And the starting frames of that falling upper from the platform was not going to help him out there. Because you know Aaron wants to stop that from happening. For sure, man. Aaron, again, capitalizing so well off of the, the stock lead. And he's actually played incredibly patient, too, to get that uh, up tilt to up air. Just really just following where Ness is going, but oh my goodness, the double was magnet into the nair, dude. Oh my god, that was such a scary upbeat. But this this pressure does not stop from Surf right now, man. Oh my god, you cannot land. He only took 14. That was just that was just Rob being a huge body and Ness's hitbox is being so good for fighting Rob. So much damage so quickly, and now Surf has completely stolen the lead. Oh my goodness. I like the use of that magnet. Just keep him stuck in the fire even longer. Just yeah. do a little bit more damage than normally. That was actually so smart from Sir. Oh, he got out of the up air, but still gets another chance. Oh, nope. No forward air to connect. Unfortunately for Aaron, he could have knocked Ness off stage and potentially got an edge guard. Oh, the backers are flying. So many hitboxes from both players right now. Yeah, okay. dude, Syrup has to be careful with those back airs because Aaron is catching on immediately from the ledge. So oh. he knows, oh, that's a good rising fair. Yeah. I don't think he meant the arm rotor there. He was just so much in lag from that move missing. I don't know. I think he might have did gyro miss input. Either way, that was not the play that Aaron needed at the end. And uh, damn, Syrup really just brought that all the way back. Aaron looked like he was in complete control. Aaron had a lot of control that game, but like I said, like the thing about Ness is like he gets one PK fire, he gets one like side stall combo on you, and he makes up whatever lead you have or like within seconds. So you have to really evaluate like how to 
not only effectively move around Ness, but also move with Ness. Because, like, if he's anywhere, you know how Ness is. Like, there's that small bubble that he operates in, but it's pretty big because you have to account for, like, the disjoints in his aerials, PK fire range, all together. And I think Syrup also just knows, like, how to, like, effectively stop Rob in certain situations. Like, he knows the minute Rob is off stage, he doesn't have to go off stage with Rob. He can just opt to go for PK Thunder because Rob, especially if Rob goes for that low recovery. Yeah. PK Thunder is such a such a good tool in this matchup off stage, as you said. Like Rob can't really I guess he could forward air the Thunder Jolt. But, but like yeah, yeah. And even then, like yeah, look at where look at where easy. Ness will be with yeah. Look at where Ness will be with. He'll still be on the stage while Rob is like taking his time to make the recovery. Especially with how usually Rob's like to recover. And the best way for Rob to recover is usually that. Yeah. So uh, not having a hitbox on your LB against Ness is Thunder. PK Thunder, pretty rough for most characters, honestly. Yeah. But Aaron, crazy, basically on his last ropes here, man. In danger of going out 3-0 in the grand finals. Like, I know he doesn't want that. Even though he's opting on this all Rob run, like, he doesn't want to just lose like this. Yeah. You know, he, want, he wants to make it competitive, at least. Right, right. Like, that's the, and that's the thing, too. Like, you don't want it to be a wash. You want it to be, like, a game five, you know, but... Man, Syrup is on something, man, because he literally carried this man with a full side-style side combo. He wasn't able to finish it off, but just the damage, let alone from Ness, you know how big that is. Dude, that forward smash spacing from uh, Syrup was almost perfect. Uh, if Aaron threw out anything, that forward smash tipper would have connected. He would have been super dead. Gonna wait for, yeah, I, gonna say, say. I, I said it already in the last games, but again, I'm super impressed with how Syrup moves with this character. Yeah, and I said, as I said earlier too, like getting learning combos is one thing, but movement is incredibly another strong thing. Like there is a lot that you can do in neutral, just knowing your movement options, but also capitalizing oh. on learning movement. Aaron no. bait him to go low. Aaron bait him to go low. And, and got that was kill. That was yeah, so and smart. Syrup got greedy too, because like I talked about it, he has no reason to go low. He has PK Thunder. So if you want to fight Rob with all his gas, literally on that low recovery, just PK Thunder this man. But. Syrup on the aggressive side got caught slipping here. And that neutral light will break away here as Syrup gets the stage control here. Tries to go for an air. Another PK Thunder doesn't get the full connection. But yeah, you know what he's going for now. Yeah, don't forget about that F tilt from Ness. It's actually a very strong kill move. It kills actually pretty early. It would have killed even earlier percent against Rob there. But... Okay, and just swinging aerials back and forth. No one's able to uh, maintain advantage for that long, but nice little smash out of shield from Aaron. I do question that dash attack from Syrup because that was a little bit too risky. Like Aaron had the shield, yet yeah, there was no reason why he would let go shield that early. And even though the shield, like dash attack is disjointed, it wasn't worth there for Syrup. I, but it looked like Syrup wanted to whiff punish against Aaron, especially just being caught in the middle of the scramble. about that jump now Aaron uh, definitely played with the stock lead before but wasn't able to do much with it see see we just now they has a second chance nice doing a really good job of punching Serb's jump right now Nice, forward airing the down smash. He's gonna drop that stock, but I think he did really good on that stock to get 74% on Ness. Yeah, not, there's not the falling off air that Syrup wanted to try for originally last game. Oof. No jab lock or tech chase there. Aaron mm. catching another jump, and that'll do it. Yeah, Aaron finally puts that point on the board here, pushing B for narrative. Good stuff. That was a good call too from Aaron. Like he definitely has been seeing how like Syrup has been a little bit aggressive on that on the aerials, especially like when we saw that dash attack. I think what it came down to was like Syrup just pretty much said something has to give because they're just like either trading aerials or just going for aerials, and like one of them wanted to play, and like that's why we saw Syrup go for that falling up air from platform because he knows like cool if I just get one play I can bring things up to me and then. I can pretty much take the stock, but unfortunately, like, Aaron is no slouch. He's not going to get Syrup that free combo. He's going to look to punish him afterwards or, like, on the startup. 
And Aaron, like with that, Aaron pretty much puts up game four to happen. Yeah, great, great back there space from Aaron. He's, he's doing such an amazing job of calling out Serge double jump now. And uh, a lot of Ness's uh, do over commit on that option. So if you can kind of see a habit on the timing that they like to do a double jump, you can really find a lot of good kills like that. Either just killing them outright with your back air or just like hitting them out of a double jump and then forcing them to recover low in a really bad spot. Yeah. But uh, let's see what happens here. Honestly, uh, I don't like PS2 against Ness. I hate the PK fire arc that he gets from the platform. So I always want to ban this stage against Ness. But Aaron is very comfortable on this stage as it's, he's shown already. So. Let's see if he uh, able to make it work here. Yeah, Aaron is definitely one of those players I will always say he is built different. I mean, he's definitely showing that off with Rob. Like his Rob is definitely built different. So we'll see how how far that can go here, especially against Syrup. As Syrup just breaks through here with that side stall around Aaron, and I think that's what we're gonna be seeing more coming up from Syrup too. Is a couple more side stalls just because he's gonna try to like bait out Aaron from like, cool, you wanna go projectile? Now I'm in your face. You not only have to worry about me healing from it, but also like me getting a combo at the same time. I also oh, like from uh, Syrup that hasn't really been uh, said yet is a. Uh... He always does retreating fair on uh, his opponent's shield. So like you see that Aaron will block the first few hits of fair and then he just starts retreating backwards. No. But gyro to the rescue again. And that was, Syrup had the right idea to like deactivate gyro then come back on the stage. The problem is like that rough angle where we're like, okay, you get the PK Thunder, but the PK Thunder is that close to the, st to the stage. It's rough. You definitely hate to see a chat. All right, well, PK Thunder looking for this back air conversion after here. Narrowly missed, just pretty much missing it from like a full character away. Oh. The sharking of the up air from the ledge. Yeah, and I do Not like some syrup again because this time he knows I, if Rob is going to be under the stage, I have no reason to go off the stage. I can literally just go for PK Thunder and then wait him out. I have stage control still. Oh, Aaron never touched the ground. Opted to go for a nair swing instead of regaining his fuel. Uh, well, I definitely don't like giving up a free stock against Syrup, because then these things I'm happen. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. He buffered air dodge. He thought he would have to tech. He thought he would have to tech in that situation for some reason. And that's the last thing you want to do. Such an early stock to drop against Syrup. And now look at the percent. He's just climbing so rapidly now. This is like the worst case scenario for Aaron. And he's not out of it yet, though. I mean, yeah, he's down a stock here, but he still holds a possibility of victory in his hands. And he gets oh. that read with the Nair here. Like I said, he's not out of it. He's on that Gemini percent. You got to watch yourself in uh -oh. situations like that. Have a double PK fight on this oh. back air on the side stall. GG's. Disgusting, disgusting way to close out the tournament with the JV with that stick sickness combo. Great stuff to serve up. Unfortunately for Aaron, gonna 